You said you told him to start a label. You told him that, right? Yeah. So what did he tell you after you gave him all his information? What he did said, he say to you? He said, nigga, that's for you to do. <laughs> homie, homie, I'm in my own lane, homie. You know what I'm saying? I'm in the then, real world. Then he pulled out a CD. He said, I think I just dropped. <laughs> nigga. <laughs> but you ain't. <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. You're talking about like people like Noriega. Yeah. People like uh, Gilly the Kid that was yeah. on the label before. Yes. Uh, but that's where he going with the eat greedy thing. I understand it, but I'm, I'm talking about the time we went through and the time. I, yeah, you talking about how right it was. Now. Yeah. Now, now, man, you got you to gotta, you gotta sign rap. Bro, let me tell you like this. The reason why Dallas, let me be real. The, the reason why Dallas so fucked up right there, because it's the older people they looked up to. Them niggas out there in North Dallas is on some, on some, before I went to Met Mo 3, I never knew North Dallas was like that. But they listened to this Pookie and Lucci. You know what I'm saying? They listened to Pookie and Lucci. So that's why, you know, telling them stories and killing and all that shit, Lucci never doing that. He fucked up a lot of niggas' heads out there. Chief. Chief had every rapper in the city of Dallas want to be a trapper. Well, what do you think? What, what do you, that was that time period. So, so, no, so now... Now, if you if people say they want to help Dallas and bring Dallas together, go tell them kids where that shit go lead you. All right, that's what. Pimp so you said you told like him. That. So you said you told him to start a label. You told him that, right? Yeah. So what did he tell you after you gave him all his information? What he said, did he say to you? He said, "Nigga, that's for you to do, <laughs> <laughs> homie. Homie, I'm in my own lane, homie. You know what I'm saying? I'm in the then, real world. Then he pulled out a CD. He said, "I think I just dropped." Nigga. But you ain't. <laughs> nigga. <laughs> so basically, he doesn't understand. So I understand where Sean come from. Sean trying to say, I only post shit that is relevant. Make yourself relevant. Sean just had a whole kid giveaway. Yeah. You know I what I'm saying? I seen that. That was dope. You know what I'm saying? Sean had a whole kid giveaway. Hell, you, big boss, go, go pay for 30 pair of shoes. Yeah. Now Sean got to post you. Now you, now you flexing. Yeah, I can't pull it up. I can't pull up at your event with shoes to give away for the kids. They just in case you ran out. Damn, that's heavy. See, you know how to move around and maneuver, though. You play the game well. That's like, how yeah, he that, do. He know how to that, do that, it. That's mm -hmm. how you got to do it. But you sitting there complaining. I, I, I had this. I had that. I did this. I did that. You don't make yourself relevant. When I knew I wasn't getting, uh, uh, when I was following, when I knew I was falling off, I started doing interviews. No, I y'all weren't getting into the label yet, so I, I just had questions about the label. But what about the label? Yeah. No. Okay. So you start. You start. Has it started yet? Yeah, I just signed the papers yesterday. Called legendary label That's and dope. distribution through Empire. And it's gonna be love, out of guys. Dallas, based out yeah. of Dallas. Yeah, it's gonna be based out. Of, it's gonna be based out of Dallas, but I might sign people from everywhere. So what are you? What is your label gonna offer that's different from any other label? Why people need to come sign with you? Shit, I move fast. I'm aggressive. And yeah. they own their own masters, yeah, and they own their own masters. So, you know, at the end of the day, um, you know, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna try to come out with the best situation for a person. So, if they own their own masters and all of that, what do you get from out of everything? I get a percentage of the distribution that I put out. That's dope. Does yeah. the percentage depend on the artist, or it's the same all across the board? It's it depends on the artist, and it depends on how much money that they asking for, how much money I got to invest in them. And I'm not giving no money up front. I'm just investing in. I'm not going to give you no money for a start. Oh, out. so you're not signing nobody I'm with. I'm signing them, but not but an advance. Not with an advance. Uh -uh, okay. Because at the end of the day, I, I think sometimes them advances hit, hurt a person's career. If they too young and get an advance, then they don't know the. the they don't know the. How to manage your money. And manage money. And they don't know how to struggle. And they don't know how to come back. I mean, get it out the mud. So, you know, at the end of the day, somebody just give you all this $200,000, a little 18, 19, 20, 21 year old, they're going to blow it. Then they stuck in the hole. You know what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, I'm going to spend the money on, on promotion. So, when you're doing all that, and so, say I'm an artist, I come to you, I want to sign with you, but you're not giving me an advance, but you'll pay for everything. Right. So, is that only for the first year, first two years, first, you know, until the first project drop? And how I, does that work? How I work, after six months, you're going to be a, a six-figure individual. I move fast, you know. And is that guarantee in my paperwork? You can't guarantee none. Is that is that at your work at? So I'm gonna put you. I'm gonna put you in position. It's your. It's, it's your. It's, it's your part. You to know play you your part. can guarantee it in paperwork because as long as you say okay, if you 
as an artist, do this, this, and this uh-huh. in this time. I guarantee you, I, this is going to be your yeah, result. I can't guarantee nothing because at the end of the day, you might have to. We, we might have to wake up eight o'clock in the morning for for six months straight. And, and they'll and, do and, it. Yeah, but if you if you miss if you miss if you wake up at one o'clock one day and it was twenty thousand dollars on the table, that's your fault. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna put you in position. You just got to play the part. I'm gonna blast you out, put you on tours, everything. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So are you? Um, do you have anybody you're already gonna sign uh, to your label? I got people in mind. Because uh, uh, nobody that you're working with right now, are you going to, are you, gonna, yeah, uh, are, are you I, signing them? I think I'm done managing. No, but the people that you're managing right now. For the uns- yeah, if they, if, if they chose. The like label, the pink. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah if, they cho- if they chose to. Uh, sign to the label. They signed to the label. When they contract, so they, they chose to sign to the label. That's cool. Uh, it's, on, yeah, it's, it's cool. It's only one other artist that I, I'm going to go sign a, a managing contract with right now. Is, uh, Who? Uh, I think I like uh, Bumper Johnson. Okay. I heard that before. Yeah, I, I, I like that. I like. I like. You. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. One on one. Yeah, we gonna talk.